I'm Montana with Washington State Parks. Today we're going to take a virtual video tour of Camo Beach State Park. To start, I want to acknowledge that Camo Beach is located within the traditional territory of the Stillaguamish, Swinomish, Tulalip, and Upper Skagit tribes. For thousands of years, this has served as an important spot for fishing, harvesting shellfish, and other cultural activities. And the tribes continue to have a special connection to this place. Diving into the history, in 1855, the Treaty of Point Elliot limited indigenous people's access to the land. This treaty also allowed European settlers to come in and begin logging operations on the island. This led to deforestation, which led to agriculture and grazing. But a key part in the story of how Cama Beach Resort came to be has to do with the automobile. In 1910, a bridge was built between Stanwood and Camano Island, and this allowed tourism to become a viable industry of the area. Cars changed the way people traveled. The Great Depression leveled the tourism playing fields, and in the 1930s, auto park vacations became a hit among people of all classes. Cama Beach Resort opened as an auto park in 1934. This facility, believe it or not, was an official Chevron station. This gas pump is of an earlier design with a long lever-like handle that had to be manually pivoted back and forth to pump gasoline. Nowadays, you'll often see kids parked here by the historic pump, pretending to fill their bikes with gasoline before zooming off into the distance. One of the major differences between today and the past is that we no longer allow cars to drive down here on the beach. We do this so kids are free to play and roam safely, and also cars are much bigger nowadays. The space in between the cabins was designed for Model Ts and not SUVs. Behind me are the famous Cama Beach cabins. Most of the buildings down here on the beach are originals. All of the cabins and bungalows have been restored and are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. When Leroy Stradley built this resort, he wanted it to be a place where families could vacation at little cost. Back in the day, it cost $12.50 to stay at a cabin for a week. Unfortunately, Mr. Stradley passed away soon after the resort opened, and the business was continued by his daughter Muriel and son-in-law Lee Grisk. Now the heyday of the resort was from the 1930s into the 50s, though it continued to operate until 1989. Just think, it was family owned and operated for 55 years. In the 90s, the Risk family began to generously donate land to Washington State Parks with the hopes that this would become Cama Beach State Park. They hoped that some of the traditions of the resort era could continue for future generations. Today, as a state park, one of our goals is to maintain that old-timey resort feel while also meeting the needs of the modern family. We hope that staying at Cama Beach is like taking a step back in time when vacation was all about slowing down and spending time together. This is the old entrance road to Cama Beach Resort. Originally, it was a skid road for dragging logs down to the waterfront. In the late 1880s into the early 1900s, there was a logging operation here. Timber was harvested and shipped off to nearby mills. And because of this, all of the forested bluff around us consists of second growth. Then this was the entrance road to the resort. Now it's a walking path. In 2008, a replica entrance sign was created and unveiled for the park's grand opening. This is one of the ways we try to preserve that feeling of the resort era as you make your way down to the beach. To conclude this video tour, I wanted to share a quote by one of Muriel and Lee's daughters, Sandra Risk Worthington. She said that this place has a magic to it. It's about shutting out the busyness of everyday life, about getting away. As you leave Stanwood, the scenery becomes more and more rural. A 
arriving at Kama Beach, you change your focus to what's natural. The woods and the waves. And the old resort itself doesn't try to impress you. It's the beauty of the setting that does. Thank you for joining me on this quick walk through time at the one and only Kama Beach. I hope you learned something new and look forward to seeing you soon.